In this Madden 22 breakdown, I'm going to be showing you one of the best adjustments for trips tight end. I'm also going to be showing you how to counter it um, with a very special little motion that you can do out of the trips formation just to kind of mess with some of the principles that you might encounter as people try and attempt to stop this incredible, incredible offense. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, I just want to remind you that I'm in the New England Patriots playbook uh, out of the, uh, or in the trips tight end formation in the New England Patriots playbook. And if you want to get all of my Madden eBooks, I've got 18 offensive and defensive guides that includes this New England Patriots trips tight end. I would really encourage you to join my Patreon membership. It's only $10 a month. And it also includes exclusive updates that we do pretty much every single week. And so all of the eBooks are not only um, not only just brand new or not only eBooks, right? But they're also updated eBooks throughout the year. So you get everything for just ten dollars uh, $10 a month. Unlocks the whole membership, all the features of that as well. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below, uh, and I'd, I'd encourage you to check it out after the video is over. Now, what I want to talk about in this video is a specific concept that you're going to see, especially if you're playing some of the best Madden players in the world. Um, we're just going to use PA Counter Go. It's really a method that they use, um, and I talked about this back in, I think, September. Um, September, I, th I want to say like early September this year, that this was a really good concept for stopping trips tight end, and you can do it out of basically any defense in the game. But this concept right here, this play, one of the best concepts or one of the best passing concepts in the game because it forces the user to have to use her the crossing route and then have to use the underneath route. Well, this is a way that you don't have to do that. Basically, what you want to do is go to, um, you can go to cover three, you can go to Tampa two. Those are the two primary defenses you want to do this out of. Um, and all you're going to do is you're going to put the safety into an inside quarter. Either safety, it doesn't matter, but it, typically you're going to see it from this guy, um, especially if they're going to play cover two like this. And then they're probably going to man the tight end up. And what this is going to do is it's going to do it's going to be an adjustment where basically the safety um, is going to play in relationship with the number three receiver and the number three receiver in this example is Chris Godwin and just so happens in trips tight end that the number three receiver in trips tight end is the most effective receiver it gets all the best routes it gets crossers corners um, slants deep posts stuff like that so what you're going to see here is this inside quarter adjustment will completely bag this route as you can see I mean yeah I completed it it's Madden 22 but you see the guy is in the area. Now this is also going to affect things like a corner route. So let's say for example, I wanna to go to uh, PA slot corner and run what I believe is one of the best flooding concepts in Madden. So it looks just like this. And what you're gonna see is they're gonna have a lot of success against this if they run a coverage that looks kinda of like this. And the reason why is because that safety is gonna basically run right at the guy and Right at the time you're going to throw it, he's going to be breaking on the ball and be in a position to make a play. So how do you combat this? Well, there's really two primary methods, and they're really both very similar, and they both are designed based out of motion. Um, there's two specific motions I really like to use to combat this, um, this, this little tactic. And honestly, guys, this will work against any three uh, trips formation. So the safety will always play in relationship with number three. So I'll show you an example real quick. So let's say I go to a, let's say that I go to a empty formation. I've got trips to the left, or in this example, I have trips to the right. Um, so what I want you to do is I'm gonna set up the same exact combination like this. So you see this is kind of, if you take a look here, this is kind of what it looks like, okay? Basically the same thing. And what I'm gonna do defensively is now I'm gonna put the inside quarter on this side. So inside quarter here, and then just, you know, cause I know the combo, I'll man that guy up, but in general, they're gonna be inside quarter. I want you to watch what the inside quarter does. And typically what he's gonna do, if you look here, is he's gonna play in relationship with that number three. I actually didn't there because of the five wide. But um, any, any trip set, let me give you another easy example. So like this trips, uh, trips Y flex, which I think is one of the more underrated formations here. You get you, you get you can really do some cool stuff spacing wise with this. But this is basically the same thing. So this is like a tray open style of formation, and we're gonna do exactly the same adjustments. And what you'll see here is when I put that safety in an inside quarter, you see how he goes to the number three and he plays him. Now in this example, he actually leaves this guy open over the top because we didn't have any main coverage, but. You see the, the, the concept. So any trips, it doesn't have to be just trips done in. 
But what you can do with this is you can kind of break it with motion, which I think is really um, advantageous. Okay, and I've talked about this before. I think this is something that you need to do more of in this formation. Uh, so, so what that might look like is this. Um, it just depends on who you want to motion. But I like to motion the running back. So if you can motion this running back, you can actually put this running back on a fade and motion him out or a streak and motion him out. And then you can run the basic, basic concept that looks kind of like this. You don't even have to put him on a streak, by the way. But just motion him out. That's literally all you need to do. Just motion the running back out. Now they're going to have to... You know, they're going to have to do something over here um, that's going to cause an adjustment of some type. Typically, it's going to be something like that. They're now still in the middle of the field. And what you should see from this is this inside quarter doesn't play him. You see how he doesn't play him over there? So now I can throw my crosser on the sideline just like that. Okay? So that's one method of doing it. Another method that I think is even more, I mean, just as effective um, is this motion I've talked about before from this formation, which is to basically take the running back because they have to, like, again, from something like this, they have to have some kind of guy in man coverage on the tight end or some coverage over the top. Otherwise, they're going to get burned over the top. You have to kind of assume that that's what they're going to do. So let's say you get something like this and you, you know, you play it like that. One of my favorite things to do in, com in, in you know, combating this would be to block the tight end, put the running back on a wheel, motion him to the left side of the screen. Then what I like to do with this is I'm going to put a, a, a flat to Miller, and we're actually going to run a skinny post. And now we have a seam wheel and a skinny post and a crosser. And what you'll notice with this is, again, that inside quarter is basically useless. And you see now how good of that, that crosser can't get guarded. So that's another little small little way that you can solve the problem. Now, a third way that you can solve the problem, let's say you're watching this and you're like, you know, that's great, but I really want to be able to block my running back because I love the play action blocking from PA counter go. Totally understand that. So if you're in that situation, um, my favorite thing to do um, is actually to run this on the other hash mark. And you'll see that this is going to also cause a significant amount of problems. So they're in this defense right here. So now let's say, for example, their primary method is to man up this guy on the right. Let's just say that's their primary way that they're going to try to stop the tight end. This is where you can really get, I think, glitchy with this. This is a motion. You're going to motion Scotty Miller to the left side. I've talked about this before on the channel. What you'll notice here is it's going to put him in a really interesting position. It's going to put him kind of in a, a flex type of, you have kind of a tight set here to the right. And then on the back side, you have kind of a spread look. You're going to streak Scotty Miller. Um, because again, you're kind of cueing that they're going to man the tight end up. You're going to then drag the tight end and you're going to deep dig route Mike Evans. So you see, this is what the play looks like. Now this play right here is really, really good because you see how the inside quarter just completely dumbs out and you see that this is a absolute laser over the top. So they now have to think, oh, now I've got two guys I've got to deal with. And what's going to happen is they're going to get out of the defense. Um, I mean, I'm just telling you, most of the time, they're going to get out of defense. But let's say another way that they do it, and this is something a little bit safer of a way to do it, um, but let's say that they do something like this where they go with a cover three, and then they use vertical hooks underneath, so something like this, maybe a purple over here um, with a three rack, you know, it kind of looks like this, okay? Let's just say this is what they go with. This is still going to cause them a significant amount of problems because of how glitchy this motion snap really is, especially against cover three. So what you'll see against cover three, for whatever reason, is he's going to get kind of a speed boost up the seam. Now you have that seam right there that you can throw, and you also have that route that you can throw. But notice that the inside quarter gets completely dumbed out by the compression, and that's what we're going to really try to take advantage of. This also is something you can do, let's say, against a traditional match concept. If you're getting a lot of match defense, you can do this um, against that. And it's not, it's not as good. Um, but it's still good. It's not like you're going to get a one-play score. But what you will get is this crosser completely cleared out on that sideline. So this is one of my favorite things because it really forces the user to have to hang with the crossing route, which he probably doesn't want to do, especially if he's doing adjustments like that. Now, this is not the only concept that you can do from this, and that's what I think people miss. So let's say we do this, and now let's say, for example, we want to use that underneath route to Evans. We can go with something like this little dig, um, this little five yard in route with the fade out. This is a great concept as well that you can run. 
you'll see that this out route gets a lot more open and of course your crosser gets more open. So you can kind of build and craft this based off this motion however you want to. And then the last motion that I wanted to cover real quick with you this uh, today is I wanted to show this one last thing. So let's say for example, um, let's say for example that they're going inside quarter here and then actually, you know what, let's say we're doing this. Let's say we're doing inside, inside quarter here, outside third and deep half. So that's kind of what they're going with. And then they're going to use her, um, you know, they're going to use her over the middle. Okay. If that's the case, let's say they're doing something like that. You're going to, you're going to notice that, that inside corner on the left is going to be very effective for still guarding that route wherever he goes. But again, via motion, we can kind of solve that problem. So what I like to do with this last motion um, is this is where you can kind of get really, um, I don't know, just simple with this, but this is one of my favorite concepts in the game. If they're running zone drops, it, it really doesn't matter what they run. And I've talked about this before, but we're going to slant the inside slot. We're going to post the tight end. We're going to post the outside receiver. And then we're going to motion Scotty Miller and put him on a smoke. And you're going to see that it's going to break the coverage that they got. And then the other thing you're going to be able to do off this is now you've got a lot of room to be able to throw that. You can throw the other route on the left. So pretty much everything then becomes open. And that's a way that you can really get them out of this defense, get them back in the, to, into a traditional type of defense, which honestly is not going to really work against strip side in. You can't just run basic coverage against it and expect it to be very effective. But the beauty of this is, you know, this is going to get them out of some of those glitchy adjustments. And now you're going to be able to open up some of the rest of your offense. So you can do it like this. Another last little piece is, let's say we wanted to do, uh, let's say we wanted to do this and they're running that motion and we wanted to streak the tight end now. Well, again, very simple. One of my favorite little tricks here, we're going to curl Scotty Miller. We're going to drag Mike Evans, bring him across the formation. And now, because again, we know we're streaking the tight end. We're going to snap him in motion. Now you see the inside quarter dumbs out. We still get a great clear out on that side and the crosser becomes wide open. So these is little, little, little ways that you can deal with that. Um, that little adjustment that a lot of people are running right now um, as it's gaining in popularity. So I wanted to thank you for your time. I hope this video was helpful for you. And this is the adjustment that you can do to their adjustment that a lot of people are going to be running when they see anything like a, a trips type of set. So thanks for watching. If you want to learn this full uh, scheme, you know, if you want to get, just get better at Madden, I would really encourage you to get the Patreon. It's not just trips tied in in there. We've got 18 offensive and defensive guides in there alongside of about 100 exclusive updates, more than 100 for sure. And uh, we update it pretty much every single week with new stuff. So just put a major, major defensive update in there that I would really encourage you to check out. It's one of my, it's, it's my favorite defense in the game right now. Uh, so if you want to check out all that stuff, again, you unlock everything for just $10 a month. There's a link in the description below where you can go sign up.